Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the indoor fan motor in this Carrier Gree ETAC heat pump unit, you will need a number two Phillips head screwdriver, wire cutters, zip ties, and a power drill with a 5 16 inch socket. Before you begin, be sure to turn the unit off and disconnect the power supply. When performing this procedure, you will need to fully uninstall the unit from the wall. To do this, remove the unit's front panel by pulling the bottom of the panel out to release it from the tabs, then lift up. If applicable, disconnect the wall thermostat wire connector and the energy management wire connector. Using the power drill with the 5 16 inch socket, unthread the four mounting screws, securing the unit to the wall sleeve. Now have an assistant help you to slide the unit out of the sleeve and set it on a towel or blanket. Use the number two Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screw, securing the control panel. Detach the control panel. Now unthread the lower right screw, securing the junction box cover. Unthread the three screws, securing the junction box itself. Pull back the cover to fully detach the junction box from the power cord. Disconnect the power cord wire connector. Next, unthread the six screws securing the control box's side access cover. Remove the cover. Unthread the four screws to release the left access cover. Now unthread the six screws securing the discharge air screen. Set the screen aside. Unthread the screws to detach the two support brackets securing the fan housing. Now unthread the remaining four screws to release the indoor blower cover. Unthread the two screws securing the control box's middle access cover to the frame. Unthread the remaining screw, securing the power cord receptacle plate to the frame. Release the wire connector lock from the indoor fan motor wire connector. Then disconnect the wire connector, along with the heater wire connector.
Now lift the control box straight up and move it out of the way. Insert the number 2 Phillips head screwdriver into the slot in the blower wheel to loosen the blower wheel set screw. Use the wire cutters to cut the zip tie bundling the motor and heater wires together. Then unthread the screw to release the motor grounding wire. Unthread the four screws securing the motor to the mounting bracket. With the screws unthreaded, you can fully remove the old motor. To install the new indoor fan motor, insert the motor shaft into the blower wheel so the flat portion of the shaft aligns with the set screw. Then position the motor on the mounting bracket and thread the four screws to secure. Keeping the blower wheel centered in the housing, tighten the set screw. Thread the screw to secure the fan motor grounding wire. Use a new zip tie to bundle the motor and heater wires together. Reseat the control box. Thread the two screws to secure the top of the middle access cover to the frame. Thread the upper right screw to secure the power cord receptacle plate to the frame. Connect the motor and heater wire connectors. and secure the indoor fan motor connector with the lock. Realign the baffle on the blower housing, then reposition the indoor blower cover. Rethread the screws. Realign the two fan housing support brackets and secure them with the screws. Reposition the discharge air screen and rethread the six screws to secure. Reposition the left access cover and rethread the screws.
Realign the side access cover and thread the screws to secure. Reconnect the power cord wire connector. Then reposition the junction box and rethread the screws. Rethread the lower right screw to fully secure the cover. Realign the control panel and thread the screw to secure. Reinstall the unit by sliding it into the wall sleeve until the seal rests against the front of the sleeve. Rethread the mounting screws to secure the unit. Avoid over tightening the screws. Reconnect the wall thermostat and energy management wire connectors, if applicable. Reinstall the front panel by aligning the tabs over the top rail, then push the bottom of the panel in until it snaps into place. Restore power to the unit, and the ETAC heat pump system should be ready for use.